Well, hello, my beautiful Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your singles love reading for the end of August, right through the end of September 2024. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings and I will never reach out to you personally to offer one. Also, I will never ask you for money, e-gifts or donations. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful. There's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Capricorn, this is your singles love reading. I'm going to do a Celtic cross just to see who is coming in towards you. Also, I've opened up a second competition to win a free personal reading from me, but I'll let you know how to win that a little bit later on because some people are here just for the reading and I don't like to waste anyone's time. So let's get straight to it. Thank you so much, spirit guides, guardian angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? Who is coming towards them? Can you please show them the way? They are currently single. Who is coming towards them? Can you please show them more about their love life? What are they meant to know at this time regarding love? Please guide them towards what is uh, going on with them and who is coming in for them. What are they meant to know at this time? Um, so your first card there is the Seven of Pentacles. So you may feel like you're at a bit of a fork in the road, really, a crossroads in your life. Uh, some of you are thinking about new strategies on how to meet new people. So you're not going to rely on the usual ways of uh, meeting somebody. So I feel like you've been reflecting basically on all the experiences that you've had. And you may have felt uh, there's an energy here of dissatisfaction. You may feel also that there's nobody about at this time. And you can't see how love is going to enter into your life. You may also see that you have have entered into previous experiences if you've been in a previous love relationship where there has been an exchange that is not balanced. What I mean by that is that you may have been a bit of an overgiver in previous relationships and you're being asked to learn the gift of reciprocity, that you tend to be someone who uh, invests fully in a relationship but sometimes you may like treat your person, which is really wonderful, but you may notice that you're doing a lot of the treating or you're doing a lot of the, uh, you know, planning magical events or you're doing a lot of investing into the relationship and they're sitting back and enjoying all that you offer them and they're only offering occasionally. Now, of course, balance is the key to a relationship. It's all about give and take. So I feel that is one of the lessons that you've been learning in, uh, you know, relationships if you've had some experiences there but if you've been single and you haven't found anyone who's really like sparked your attention I feel a lot of you've been focusing on making your money or you've been focusing on building your empire building your life uh, and you may have felt that you know you've been waiting for the one because you've been very very patient uh, but I do see that you're about to meet someone where you can see your future in their eyes you can see that you will be with this person immediately when you meet them and they are going to offer you the highest love that love has to offer. Yep, someone new coming in uh, very, very soon. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. So basically, you are kind of like promising yourself that you're just going to focus on your projects. And it's going to be a very um, different person, interesting, someone very special who captures your attention because you're not going to uh, basically waste your time on anyone who doesn't have everything that you're looking for. I see a lot of you are in a bit of a repetitive cycle right now where you're doing life, whether that's your projects, your responsibilities. You know, I feel like you've been doing a lot of personal development on yourself as well. And I feel you're in a period of personal growth and you're preparing space for new love to come on in, okay? Now, I feel like you're in mid 
some sort of major lifestyle change in yourself, whether that's body, mind, and soul. I see there is a psychic bond and connection between you and this new person who comes in. When you meet this person, you just know. Okay, you know that sentence where people say, when you know, you know, you're going to just know when you meet this new person and there is someone coming in and it will be in the next six weeks. I see a conversation. Ace of Swords is a breakthrough in your love life. Um, now, for some of you, you could be deciding to develop your spiritual gifts a little bit more. So you may actually find yourself in a group of people where you actually learn something about uh, your psychic abilities or perhaps you are opening yourself up to like yoga, meditation, Reiki, something in the spiritual realm that helps body, mind, and soul. Because I see a lot of you with that Knight of Swords making major lifestyle changes. So some of you, if you have a calling to go and do those things, or even if you're doing those things already, there could be like a new person who joins that group. Or it could be that, you know, you decide to go to a new group and you meet new people at that place. And there's someone there it's love, okay? So let's get to your cards. Your first card there is the Seven of Pentacles. You're thinking about your future. As you can see, there is a telescope on that card there. So this is you projecting yourself into the future, really thinking about what it is that you want. You're looking for a high level commitment relationship because that is your King of Cups. That is what is above you at this time. So that's your potential to meet love that has, um, you know, a romantic, passionate, um, engaging energy to it where you will basically settle down with that person. But the Seven of Pentacles, it's, uh, it's really interesting. I'm, I'm actually going to show you something because before I came to your reading, my guide just um, reminded me of it and I didn't really think about it until my guide just reminded me of it. But before I came to your reading, I was given that this person, this new person that you're about to meet is really interested in, in astronomy. Okay, uh, and I just realized the telescope looking at the Milky Way there, uh, you know, the stars, this person, they are very into astronomy. Okay, now they could like astrology as well, but they're really interested in the stars, into the planets and all of those things. And I'm just going to show you right over here because I wrote it down on a piece of paper. Okay, uh, I do a little 10 minute meditation. I'm not going to show you all of that because I don't like to influence the reading. If something comes up um, in the 10 minute meditation before your reading, then and of course, I will write it down. If it comes up again in the reading, then I'll let you know about it. But I don't like to sort of influence the reading by things that come up in that 10 minute meditation because they could be just floating by thoughts. They could be images that are meant for me or things that I'm just tapping into, radio stations, things like that. And then it may have no relevance to your reading. But as you can see here, and I've scrolled it because I was just like writing down really quickly all the thoughts and things that come to me. And you probably can't really see it. It does say astronomy, right? <laughs> um, so I'm just going to show you that really closely. You can kind of see the A-S-T-R and then it's a blah, blah, blah at the end there. So that's just like a little kind of indication of what came out there. So this person really interested in astronomy. So that's one of the connections that are going to highlight that this person is the one. So when you first meet this person, I feel like you could actually have a conversation about the night sky, what's been going on recently with like the northern lights, the auroras, the shooting stars. We just had the Perseid meteor shower there as well. So there could be some sort of conversation with this new person about these events that have happened recently, but there could also be something a little bit more in the future that this person will talk about when you meet this person, because I feel like you're not too far away from meeting this person, and some of you may have already just met them, um, and if that's you and you've had conversations already about astronomy and what's going on in the night sky, then you will know that this person, it is heading towards a very romantic connection. So uh, I'm going to leave it like that and move on from that energy, but it's exciting to see that uh, we're kind of like like synchronized in the energy of who is coming towards you. Now, this person, it may be just a passing fancy, but it could also be something that they've trained in or something they are like truly knowledgeable in. And they may even have their own telescope is what I'm being given or binoculars or something like that, where they 
look at the night sky for real in, in a serious way, okay? So I'm just going to move on from the energy. Seven of Pentacles, you're feeling currently dissatisfied with your circumstances. You've waited a long time for love. You actually invest so much of yourself in relationships and you don't fall in love easily, you know, but you give your whole heart and soul and you really think about the long term in a relationship. You see a loving relationship as an investment in your future, you know? Uh, it's not just an investment in the relationship itself, but but, you know, you are thinking about the long term, you know, buying property with a person, um, you know, having like a, a joint savings plan or maybe not. Maybe these are just things that perhaps when you really commit to a person and you feel it's a safe bet, these are things that you think about that show your love for that person, you know, um, but you're looking for something that is secure. And right now you feel that uh, the search is on. OK, I feel this is the quest for love and you haven't found what you're looking for just yet. But with the crossing card here, we have the Knight of Swords. Now, the Knight of Swords is a lifestyle change. And I feel some of you are in the midst of that right now. When you go through this, this is about you broadening your horizon. There is no one in your immediate circumstances. So you are on that quest. And the Knight of Swords is always the knight who has a goal and will reach that goal or will not stop until they do. So I feel right now that you are currently searching for the one. There's a small percentage of my beautiful Capricorn out there who've just met someone and you're kind of seeing how it goes. Okay. Um, I feel that there's a lot of physical uh, attraction there between you and this person, but I feel like you're being very discerning about this person and getting to know them better before you invest any further, which is uh, very positive. I feel uh, that you and this person... What I see here is you both think about each other a lot. So if you've just met someone and just started talking to someone, you think about each other a lot, lots of messages back and forth. Um, I feel this person is going to tell you a secret. OK, uh, so if you've just started talking to someone, they're going to tell you something that they don't readily tell everybody. This person, they don't tend to keep secrets, but there's one thing that's really important to them that they just don't like to discuss with everybody. As soon as that person opens up that secret to you, you'll know what it is. It's monumental for them. Um, I feel like they're going to tell you because they want to see how you feel about it. Uh, it's not really something that is... Um, detrimental to your relationship but I feel this person it's really important to them and as soon as they open that up to you you'll know that this person they're falling in love with you they've fallen in love with you actually okay so if you're talking to someone new then of course look out for that too okay and this person I feel um they will really invest in a relationship, but they need to get that off their chest first before they launch themselves fully into the relationship. And I feel when they tell you, you'll understand why, because it is important to them, but it doesn't really have any bearing on the relationship with you both, but they need to let you know about this thing, okay? So look out for that. Now, of course, if you haven't started talking to someone new just yet, I feel like you will be shortly. Um, I'm gonna pull a card on it because I don't feel like the same applies to a person if you haven't met someone just yet. I just don't feel like they've got any secrets. Three of Swords there. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Going Angels. They may tell you about a heartbreak. Yeah, it's almost like um, they may tell you that they were brokenhearted by somebody in the past, but it kind of like spurred them on to be like super successful, that it really um, transformed their life in a good way. It's like they turned their pain to gain. And I feel like you look at this person like they're very strong. You admire this new person who's coming in. And uh, I feel this new person who is coming in, they are very successful in their own right. They may have their own business or they may uh, just be successful in their field. If they're retired, for example, and you're retired and you're looking for someone who is retired as well, I feel like this person was well known in their industry or reached a certain level where they have done really well for themselves. Okay, but I feel... They've had some difficulty, okay, this new person who's coming in, and they're the sort of person that they don't let life pin them down. They are the sort of person who, like, gets back up again, and they make life work. So I feel like you really like that about this person. They are a doer in life. So this is the new person who's coming in. But also the Knight of Swords, it's in the crossing position. So I feel... Um, when you get this card in this position, it's almost like some of you... 
you may have been recovering something, you may have been tested in some area, or you have been um, with someone in the past, my beautiful Capricorn, who has deliberately tried to knock you down or like break your confidence, okay? And I feel like you yourself are rebuilding after that. So I see that you have a beautiful heart. You really are someone who is lovable, very attractive. And I feel like with that Queen of Wands there, you're going to attract a lot of attention, okay? There's two people here. Uh, well, actually, there's three because there is the King of Swords over here. So I feel for some of you, I want to see if this is a choice, if it's three people. It could be that you're going to go out with a group of people and this is where you meet this new person because I feel it's something connected to lifestyle changes. So um, it's like some sort of spiritual quest. For some of you, it could be that you're going on a spiritual retreat and there's going to be other people there or maybe you're going to go with friends to an event where there is some monumental experience you have that kind of changes your life and it's in some way connected and you meet this new person there. So let me just pull a quick card on that I feel a lot of you are doing a lot of healing we have the queen of pentacles there and we have the nine of swords so for some of you the queen of pentacles with the nine of swords it can indicate that you're thinking about a time where you invested your whole heart and soul and someone played mind games with you or they hadn't closed out a relationship with somebody else, okay? But I'm just seeing that you're having a glow up despite these experiences. But sometimes there may be a moment where um, you have that doubt that love is uh, not coming along or you may feel that, um, you know, some of you may even question your attractiveness at times. But I want you to be aware that actually you are highly sought after. People look at you and you may not even notice that they're looking at you. They are very attracted to you. You actually Actually get a lot of attention and you're going to get more attention over the next coming weeks and months some of you may be worried about um, maturing you may be a certain age and you may feel that you know um, your opportunity to find love is now smaller or diminished in some way and these may be thoughts that you're having right now but I want you to be aware that you're vibing at a frequency of love so no matter what age you are whether you're 95 or whether you are 23 Whatever age you are right now, that King of Cups indicates love is coming towards you and love is going to find you. And I feel it's about, you know, having confidence in who you are because you are unique and that is your superpower. You can't be anybody else. And that's really important that you're not anybody else because this new person who's coming along, they want to fall in love with you. They don't want to fall in love with the next person or the next person. They want you. So I feel this is about you having confidence in who you are and knowing that the experiences you had on your previous path, they informed who you are and they've made you stronger because of it, okay? So I definitely see major lifestyle changes that you're making for you. But on the earthly plane, this is your, uh, you know, below position. This is the Queen of Wands. So these are aspects of self, but also I'm getting an energy of a group of people. Okay, so I feel some of you, uh, I'm not seeing anyone trying to set you up here. I don't see that at all. I actually see it's being more of a group of people that you'll be in when you meet this new person. But this card when it connects to your energy, even though you're an earth element and this is a fire card, this is about you embracing your passions, living your true authentic self, and it's about you being magnetic, having that personal gravitas and power in your confidence. Remember confidence, it is an aphrodisiac. So I feel, especially since we have it opposing with that King of Cups there, I feel that there is a strong relationship coming in. Uh, I feel it's loving, it is intense, it's passionate, it is all consuming, but it's also um, an energy of longevity. So I feel it's a long-term relationship that is coming in for you. And I feel you are attracting true love at this time. Now also this card, it is an indication that you are going to be in a very creative phase, but you are following your passions and you're always uh, looking for new experiences to have, new adventures. And I feel this is about you being inspired to do something that you're happy doing at this time. Um, I'm actually being given the word dance, okay? So some of you, it could be that you go to a place where there's a bit of movement, a bit of dance. I don't know why I did that, but uh, there we are. Um, and uh, for some of you, 
dance. It could be the, it's the dance of energies, you know, that dance of love where you meet someone and you're wondering, are they interested in me? Are they not interested in me? What's going on there? And I feel um, with this person, this new person, they're going to be very clear in their intentions. They're going to pay you a lot of attention when they first meet you and they're going to message you, follow up with that. It just feels like they are trying to woo you is what I see there. And this person, I'm getting an energy that they're kind of like, um, they're very modern, but at the same time, they're very old fashioned. They're an old soul when it comes to love. And I feel like they're very thoughtful and they often like think, what would Capricorn like? What would really make this person happy? But also they live their truth. So they honor what they want as well. But I feel like they go that extra mile to be romantic and bring that spark to the connection. So I feel right now you're attracting someone where there is a lot of chemistry. So let me just pull a quick card with that uh, Queen of Wands because you're just going to notice a lot of people being attracted to you at this time. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, going Angels. Can you please guide King of Cups? I mean, you show them you saw me shuffle the cards. Let me get my teeth back in my mouth there. I was so shocked, but not really. Um, you saw me shuffle this deck and the same card came out right now. Uh, the Queen of Wands is what are you attracting at this time? You're attracting the King of Cups there. And that is what is above you in the potential uh, position. So this can indicate that some of you are attracting someone with very strong Scorpio in their chart, but they could also have Cancerian Pisces energy. Doesn't have to be a water element though. It can be that you're just attracting the highest love that love has to offer. Okay, so we've got the Temperance card and this is a card of waiting. So this is in the past position. So I feel like you're not going to have to wait too much longer now because it is in the past position. But also the Temperance card is a card of harmony, reciprocity. It's a card of focusing on your true life mission and purpose. And I feel that's why you were put on pause to erect healthier boundaries, learn about what it is that you want, be more discerning about the company that you keep, and of course, focus on your life's purpose. And I feel that's something that you've been doing right now. And love is actually coming towards you. But the temperance card also asks you, what do you want? What's really important in a relationship? What's a big deal? So I feel this is you kind of like sorting the wheat from the chaff in life, but also sorting through what you want in a relationship, what's important and what's not important so that the universe can get it right and bring you what you truly desire when it comes to love. And we've got that King of Cups. This is your potential. So this is the person that's coming towards you. King of Cups tends to represent someone who is emotionally available, someone who's comfortable in their own skin, someone who's generous, kind, loving, someone who is wise, and someone who basically leads from their heart. So I feel that you're about to meet someone who wants to build a life with you and not just a life, but also a lifestyle. I feel like they are in some way connected to something that you do or something that you are building at this time because I get a sense that your dreams are the same or perhaps you're building your empire and they are kind of doing something similar. I feel like you'll both merge on that. They're almost like a bit of a reflection of yourself even though I feel like they've got a different kind of lifestyle than you. I feel like the end result or the goal is the same. And I'm getting a sense of like comfort. I'm getting a sense of luxury, uh, quality over quantity kind of energy. This person, you know, they like the finer things in life and they can also afford the finer things in life as well. Now, money, of course, is not important when it comes to love, but I feel that you and this person, you'll have a very comfortable, passionate, intense and creative lifestyle together is what I see there. And there's a lot of love, but also a lot of chemistry too. So I feel this person has got all the ingredients that you're looking for in a relationship and they're not too far away because this is your near future position. This is the next six weeks. Ace of Swords is a breakthrough. Destiny and fate draw you together. It's a transformative experience. Swords are always connected to very fast energy. And I feel with great speed and velocity, things will pick up between you both. And I feel it's happening uh, through a conversation at first, of course. I feel um, this is an indication that the law of karma is putting a person into your path. And there's just a lot of coincidences. Swords are connected to communication, immediate of minds. So I feel this is the start. Aces are always the start. 
divinely guided by the universe. A powerful connection um, and a, a breakthrough, really, when it comes to love. I also feel it's a very powerful, intense connection when you first meet each other. It's almost like love at first sight, but some of you may not believe in love at first sight because I feel like you can be quite practical, um, but you may be searching for someone who has that kind of like effect upon you, and this is the person that you're about to meet. Now, I'm just going to pull a quick card on that Ace of Swords because... The Ace of Swords can also indicate that you are at a place where truth is spoken um, or if you're going through some sort of like um, spiritual event or spiritual practice, it could be uh, a place where people, you know, they are their authentic self. They're trying to transform their lives. They may utter a truth or a secret, you know, they may kind of like, uh, that's why I am keep getting this energy of if you're talking to someone new already, they will give you a secret, but I feel if you haven't met someone new already, you're about to meet someone new, and it's not that they've got a secret, it's like that they let you in on their life really quickly, and they don't do that normally. This person's a very private person normally. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is like, you can't see how this is gonna happen. You're feeling a little bit stuck, but there is a breakthrough. Uh, we've got the moon card there. The path is being made clear for a very romantic connection. The moon connects to romance. Um, with the Eight of Swords and the moon, it can indicate that sometimes in fear, we get in our head and we get a little bit stuck. So uh, sometimes you may be like, okay, I want to find love, but I'm really busy right now, so I can't. So you find an excuse. And of course, you are busy, so that is not really an excuse, but sometimes we have to own it. We have to take responsibility and accountability for our actions and say, okay, if it's really important, we make it happen. So if you can do that for every area of your life, whether it's your career, your friendships, your family, when it comes to love, sometimes we coast a little bit. Sometimes we go, you know what, I'll look for love tomorrow, or I'll surrender to the universe, which is important because uh, that means that you are, you know, trusting in the process of meeting someone new. But at the same time, you've got to make the effort to put yourself in situations where you can meet new people or have new experiences. Because the universe does not want you to be stuck in one place doing one thing all the time. The universe wants you to have variety. That is the spice of life. So I feel like with this moon card being present, as I am clarifying that Ace of Swords, as you can see, the pathway is being made clear. Okay, pathway is being made clear there. We've got a dog and a wolf there. Now, the dog represents comfort and settling down and companionship. And the wolf, of course, it represents independence and doing your own thing. So some of you, you know, it could be that you're fluctuating in mood when it comes to love. One minute you want to have a high level commitment, but the next minute you're like, you know what, I'm really great by myself. I don't need any Anybody. I've got a lot on my plate. I've got responsibilities. You're building your empire and you may feel you don't have space for love, but I feel like you're about to have that breakthrough and I feel like you're about to meet someone who is wonderfully independent, but also wants to settle down. You can have it all. Okay. So uh, this person may also have a dog is what I'm being given, or they may be thinking about adopting a pet at this time and it may be a conversation that you'll have with this person maybe this is also you because i'm getting a strong energy that both of you could be talking about this um, over a uh, beverage is what i'm seeing there now it doesn't have to be an alcoholic beverage if you don't drink alcohol but i'm seeing a beverage you sharing uh, either a cup of a coffee or you know some sort of juice or something I feel like you will meet up with this person and like have a really intense conversation over something that you drink, okay? Now, this is your advice to yourself in this moment. Nine of Pentacles is stay independent, fall in love with your life, enjoy your single times because it's all about to change. That Ace of Swords is a breakthrough, it's a transformation, and the Nine of Pentacles is you kind of uh, creating a life of luxury for yourself, but also it's a card where you are self-reliant, you're sticking to your plans, so I really get a sense here that you're kind of like searching, but I feel like you're also enjoying who you are and enjoying your own time, okay? So that you get to know yourself a little bit more. So I feel like, you know, it has to be a very, how can I put that? It has to be a very special person to capture your attention because you're not about wasting your time or you're not about like trivial pursuits is what I see. I feel like you're looking for that big love story of your life and um, 
when you meet this person you'll know as you can see there as well right through that gate there is a tree and that represents uh, family lineage it represents you know your legacy you want to build a home and a life with someone so I feel like you want a healthy relationship where you can plant roots with that person and you have a lot to offer so it only stands to reason that this person also offers you a lot and you know of course when people say someone should offer a lot it's about energy it's about investment it's not about money it's not about you know acquisitions or assets it's about this person giving their all to a connection and vice versa and I feel like you're having a glow up you know these cards are telling me that you are someone who is highly sought after who is very attractive both inside and out you are lovable you have a pure heart and you have so much to offer a relationship so it's almost like the universe is saving the best for last okay so I feel that you're about to meet someone who is going to transform the way you look at love and I feel both of you there's an energy of um I want to say that both of you kind of like reprogram the way that you look at love when you meet each other it feels easy it just feels like it's right okay now that eight of pentacles it's in your external circumstances so this is the energy that is outside of yourself eight of pentacles of course eight is always connected to the self so I feel like you've been working on your own needs investing in yourself and your health care and your self-care uh, but also I feel a lot of you if you're in a career you've been working really hard okay you've been committing to uh, your uh, tasks and responsibilities and you may have got yourself in a bit of a routine or a repetitive cycle and it's about breaking out of that at this time but also with that eight of pentacles I feel this is about you looking for a dedicated commitment and there is one coming in but also I feel in some way um, you're going to learn a lot from this person and also they're going to learn a lot from you there's just this major conversation about the constellations that I see coming in so the astronomy thing is very very strong with this person but also this eight of pentacles there's an energy here of both of you share the same goals it just feels like the goal or the outcome is still the same so whatever you're building in life I mean for some of you it could be that you want to live off grid and you want to grow your own fruit and veg for example and it's like this new person they're like oh my gosh that's exactly my dream or it could be that you want to I don't know live on top of like a skyscraper in like a penthouse I don't know whatever it is you want whatever it is that you aspire to for some of you it's just like you want to live a very simplistic life where you're healthy happy you go uh, traveling and you see the world whatever it is this person they share the same goals as you which just makes it easier for you both to be together but there's all these other ingredients there's love there's passion there's intensity there's honesty openness accountability responsibility so I feel like you know all these elements are going to come together and build something really strong and stable and I feel this relationship is for keeps okay now what is the hope and a fear okay we've got the king of swords so the hope is someone who is thoughtful and I definitely see that that's happening here but also you know you want someone who has the courage of their convictions someone who says what they're going to do and does it someone who lives their truth someone who does not have secrets someone who actually opens up and tells you how things are and lets you know where you stand because you know I feel like you could really get with someone who says you know what I just don't want that and maybe we're not compatible rather than someone just coasting and wasting your time and not telling you how they truly feel but with this new person who's coming in they actually articulate how they feel and they are honest always this person they choose the truth every time so I feel this person they may have been hurt in the past um, and they may have been cheated on or they may have had someone who has been dishonest with them because truth is everything to this person that's what I'm seeing so that's really positive also I feel the um, the fear because there's a hope and a fear position I feel that there's an energy of some of you you know the worst thing is someone who kind of coasts who's not passionate about life who's not a go-getter someone who is controlling someone who is abusive someone who is negative or yeah I feel like all of those traits you really do not want I mean why would you but I feel 
the most important energy I'm getting from this card is like you want someone that you can see your future with because there's no point in investing in something if you cannot. Okay, so that's the main energy I'm getting. I'm just going to pull a card on it because I just feel like two empires coming together with that card. Yeah. And there's also another card that's come here. My guide said, remember, remember, remember. So uh, we've got the magician card there as well. Uh, that came away from the deck. Now this is manifestation. So this is to see your future. Um, and we've got the knight of cups here. So this is you manifesting love. So I feel like king energy again it's not gender specific this reading but it feels like you are meeting someone who's had experience of life someone who knows what they want someone who wants to settle down someone who's not going to lead you down the garden path we've got the knight of cups here and we've got the magician card you literally manifested this love into your life because king of swords says thoughts become things okay so it starts with a thought and if you're too busy to have thoughts or manifestations about love, then now is the time to carve out some time to think about what it is you want because you are attracting love at this time, okay? And I feel there's infinite possibilities for you to meet this person as well. Now your outcome energy, we've got the High Priestess. Now the High Priestess is a very important card. Number one, it tells me that uh, there's a lot of wisdom, a lot of serenity, and the mystery of love. Sometimes, you know, you could meet a person and think, wow, they're amazing, but they just don't have that ingredient. They don't have that spark. What does one person have that the other person doesn't have? So it just feels like the mystery of love will come upon you, and suddenly, you know, I feel you and this person, you'll hide away for a bit to get to know each other. Uh, the High Priestess is a card of enlightenment, so you will see who is right for you. But also, this is a card where you can feel in between worlds, where you can't see how love is going to come in, but suddenly the universe steps in and divine guidance brings you towards someone that you can actually visualize a future with. Also, this card is a card of caution. So I feel for some of you, you don't want to move too quickly in this relationship, but I do see that there's a psychic bond with you and this person. Um, it's almost like trust your own feelings and your own intuition on this when you meet this new person because you'll know instantly that they are meant to be for you and also you can see your future with them. So let me just pull a card on that High Priestess because the High Priestess card is an indication that you're going through a spiritual awakening. Uh, you're almost reprogramming your subconscious mind through lifestyle changes. You know, you're not accepting less than you truly deserve and desire. You're noticing red flags immediately in people. You know, you're being more discerning about the company that you keep. You're making sure that you break old habits and you're learning from yesterday to inform today to strengthen your tomorrow. So I definitely see here that, you know, yeah. Now, I really need to pull another card because there's a lot of people here. It's getting people-y in your reading, but we got a Queen of Cups here. This is a card which indicates you're ready to fall in love, okay? Although we got the King and Queen of Cups here as a match, okay, I want you to be aware I'm only clarifying the High Priestess. So it's like, what do you need to know about this card? It's like, when you know, you know. This is a card that indicates you're ready to fall in love and love is available to you and you're comfortable to fall in love with this person. So I feel self-love comes first, of course, but when you meet this new person, they treat you how you are meant to be treated in a relationship. You know, they value you as a gift that you are. But I just want to pull, like another card overall because I want to see what all these people are doing in your reading. I feel it's because you're in a group setting when you meet this person, but I just want to be sure. Can you please show me? Because, you know, I'm getting double date vibes. So some of you may be actually invited to something with another person in, but I'm not seeing setup energy. I don't see anyone trying to set you up. So let me just pull a card on all these people. I think they want that card. The lover's card. Okay. Uh, the lover's card is soulmate energy. It could also indicate that you have choice, okay? Uh, you're definitely meeting the one. So my guys are giving me that the lover's card is actually you meeting a person in a group of people, okay? So you meet your person, the one, 
where you're in a crowd of people that's connected somehow to lifestyle changes. So that could be that you go to a group where you improve yourself in some way, whether it's through knowledge, whether it's through exercise, whether it's through spirituality, whether you're going on a spiritual retreat. It feels very much like you're doing something to invest in you and you meet someone who's on a similar quest and it's love, okay? So, so many cards are pointing to the fact that you're about to meet the one. The Queen of Cups basically showed up to indicate that you're about to fall in love with someone who offers you the highest love that love has to offer, okay? So let's close your reading. Very excited about what is happening here. Destiny is going to intervene. You have the Clover, which is good luck. It is the equivalent of the Wheel of Fortune. So suddenly love will appear. Destiny will guide you to the person that you are meant to meet. And we've got number two there as well. Uh, that's the High Priestess energy. So it kind of, again, is another synchronistic number to indicate to me that you meet this person at a place where you are uh, developing spiritual gifts or you are connected to improving your life in some way or improving yourself in some way because I'm getting a lot of investment energy in self, okay? Um, and also, my guides want you to be aware, number six at the bottom there. Number six, of course, is the lover's card, but it's also balance and harmony. And before I close your reading, I'm being given a song, okay? Now, this is really a random song because I thought Prince sang this song, but I'm being given someone else. For this song, I'm being given Tom Jones for this song. Um, I just want your extra time and your kiss. <laughs> okay, so I think it's called Kiss. It's a very famous song. And um, I'm sure I've heard this before. And maybe it's even come up in a reading before, even with Tom Jones singing it. Uh, I'm just getting like lots of saxophone energy and stuff. So... Um, yeah, listen out for that song because I think it's going to play before you meet this new person. It's a signpost for you that the person you're about to meet, the new person, is very close to coming into your life. So listen out for that song. Could play on a radio, could play in the mall, could play really unexpectedly on your own playlist. And you're like, what? I don't particularly have that on my playlist, but it could be suddenly it just comes on in so that you are meant to hear it. So listen out for it. Uh, I mean, the Prince song or the version, I think. Yeah, because I, I always thought Prince sang that song. Uh, the Prince version is very, very different than this one that I'm hearing right now. So um, I would say listen out for the Tom Jones one because it feels very precise. I kind of love it when I'm given a very sort of precise song, not something that you're going to hear because it's in the charts right now, because that makes it more special to highlight that you were meant to hear this song. It was meant to play randomly, so that you'd hear it and it'll let you know that new love is coming in, okay? So I'm just going to go get a trinket or room before we close. Okay, so we have yes. So yes, this is your soulmate. Maybe this is you asking a question and the answer is yes. Uh, but also I feel this is more like you are saying yes more to experiences, invitations, new adventures. And uh, we've also got the moon cycle. Really interesting because I just did a Gemini reading and um, they also had this trinket come out, okay? So, I mean, the lover's card came out for you just now, so that person could also have strong Gemini in their chart as well as Scorpio, Cancerian, and Pisces. So please take it as it resonates. But this can indicate like by the next moon cycle, you'll be invited to something or you'll find yourself committing to something that you invest in in yourself and there's a group of people attached to it and this is where you will meet the person. Because I feel like you pay for something that you invest in and this is where you meet the person. I've just been given the word research as well. So some of you could be joining a course of learning or some sort of research group. 
So please take it as it resonates. I'll leave it there, my beautiful Capricorn. I hope something does resonate for you. Uh, also, just to let you know, if you want to enter a competition to win a free personal reading from me, all you have to do is write in the comments box below, love is the answer. Now, this is the second competition I've opened up now for one subscriber to win that free reading. So please keep your notification bell on because I will upload a video at the end of August announcing the winner's name. And the notification bell kind of notifies you that I've uploaded that video and I did the one before uploaded it for the first competition and nobody got the video they couldn't find it because the notification bell wasn't on so I'm not sure what happened there it is up there so if you have been searching for the winner's name uh, you know just type in like winner competition or something and it should show up for you but the notification bell would just make it easier and then I can communicate with you and let you know how to um, contact me for that reading so I'll leave it there thank you so much my beautiful Capricorn and love and light